we are uh, we're here live uh, on the ground in Iowa with uh, with our Capitals head coach uh, Brett Young, who uh, I guess moonlights or his real job is uh, assistant coach for Rowan University. The profs are ready to begin the D3 World Series today, 5:30 Eastern time against Wheaton. Coach, how are you? First of all, I'm doing well, Mike. Appreciate you having me on. Yeah, so I guess uh, tell us some of the excitement. I know it's been since uh, 05 since Rowan's been in the World Series, you know, perennially knocking on the door since then. You know, just I guess first talk about the the breakthrough of, you know, getting through regionals and the excitement since then and, you know, a little bit about um, how we're looking coming into the game today. Yeah, I mean, uh, the the regionals out in Marietta, Ohio is uh, obviously a great experience for the guys, you know, just to, to get to that level and, and go out there and compete and you know, I saw a lot of really good talent out there, some really good teams, but our guys continue to do what they've done all year and, and just compete and kind of that next man up mentality. And it's, it's been different guys, one through nine in the lineup that are that are doing damage, you know, game in and game out where we're not relying on on one way or one guy to, to have a big hit to, to win the game for us. It's it's been everybody contributing and, and just doing their job. That's been our, our mentality all year is just do your job and 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 do your role and everybody comes to get together and we've had success, obviously, you know, and uh, we beat Marietta twice on their field, which was huge. Um, they, you know, they were number four ranked in the country going into that regional and faced some adversity, you know, and it, with the home crowd there and the whole town comes out. It was, it was really a cool experience. Great, great atmosphere, right? It's yeah. Great, great atmosphere. It was, it was unbelievable. And their complex is gorgeous. And it, it, it was nice, you know, and it, Tough, tough times, you know, getting through those games. We had the battle, you know, game in and game out. And, and now coming out here to Iowa for the World Series is, is just an awesome experience. And, and getting uh, to get on the main field yesterday at the, uh, the Cedar Rapid Colonels, which I believe is the Minnesota A, our Twins single A stadium. Got on there for practice yesterday and then got to drive about five minutes away to, uh, to another college in the area and, and take batting practice on their, on their turf field. And, I mean, just gorgeous setups out here. You mentioned something about, you know, getting, uh, you know, one through nine, obviously. I mean, you look at the stats and there's some some names that certainly jump out. I mean, obviously, Ryan McIsaac's had an amazing season. Ryan Murphy, who's, you know, about 10 foot four and about 400 pounds. I mean, nine yep. homers and hitting close to 400. Yep. Uh, Ryan Mastrangeli's had a great year. Nick Schooley, you know, certainly the leadership up the middle and, you know, Drew and Eli and and, and Zach and, and Donald Zellman on the mound. But, you know, but. It's obviously more than that. You don't get to this point unless everybody's not only having a great year, but coming through in key spots, right? Uh, agreed. And it's it's been our whole roster. I mean, you know, yep. practices every day, it's guys pushing each other. And, you know, we've had, you know, to deal with stuff all year. With, with COVID, we lost some guys early that, that were out. And we had young guys step in and got the job done. And, you know, we've had injuries. We have all kinds of stuff, which, you know, you expect throughout a season and it's, like I talk, just talked about the next man up, the guys have slid in, you know, to, to fill in have gotten big hits or, or yep. pitch big innings. Our bullpen has been tremendous behind those three starters that you talked about. Yeah, and some, and some resilience too. I mean, right. You, you look back and you guys dropped the first game of the series to Stockton in the, in the, yeah. and Jack uh, quarterfinals. I mean, this probably doesn't happen or if it does, you know, there's a different road. If you, if you drop your first round, you know, and maybe get in at large, but there's only, like four or five, six at-large bids, I think. So you didn't, yeah, you didn't know at that point. It, it would have been really tough to get an at-large losing, I think, in the quarterfinals of our conference. So, yeah, you know, it's it's something we've, we've prided ourselves on too this year. Is, I mean, the guys joke, but they're kind of serious at the same time that they love adversity, you know, and they, they kind of look for it at this point. Like, what, what can we do to kind of motivate us and get us going in the right direction? Any team that gets to this point in a COVID year that gets to the World Series, is, you know, got to be mentally tough. Oh yeah, with, right. I mean, it, yeah. it's, it's just part of the game now. Yeah, and it, it starts with Di Coach Dixon at the top, and yep. you know, filters right into to our senior captains that you know they've they've been here, you know, and they've been to regionals, and they uh, they understand what it takes, you know, to to get to where we're at now, and and hopefully keep this thing going. What's it say about the the level of talent in South Jersey? How do you feel about sort of carrying the banner for for South Jersey baseball too? I'm, I mean, I. You know, I've been around South Jersey baseball my whole life, and I've been in other parts of the country. And I think South Jersey baseball can compete with anybody in the country. You know, I've I've, I've lived in South Carolina, I've lived in Oklahoma, I've seen Texas baseball, and you know, obviously the AAU circuit. You see guys from all over the country, and and South Jersey kids just 
they're, they're tougher. They're hard-nosed kids that, that just want to go out and compete, and that's what our squad is right now. Yeah, for sure. No, it's uh, and and being that this is the World Series, just a little bit about the experience here. I'm gonna put up a couple of pictures. Sure. Um, and talk about what what this was and and how we uh, we felt about what this this part of your experience. I mean that that right there. If if you don't know what you're looking at, that's that's Field of Dreams out here in Iowa, and uh, that for me is is bucket list stuff. That's that's something I've talked about going out here to my dad. You know, since I was a little kid, the first time I watched the movie Field of Dreams, and just you could feel the energy walking around out there. And you know, obviously it's a movie, but it's it's touched a, a lot of people's lives and stuff. And, you know, there's there's our whole our most of our guys are in their picture on the bench you know in the bleacher and you know you, we, we talked yesterday I was sitting up on the top where in the same spot where the uh, the little girl falls off when she chokes <laughs> on the hot dog you know I, I had to make sure I had a good good grip on that bench yeah no hot dogs while we're uh, while yeah. we're taking the picture here so I mean that's you know that's great stuff obviously um, 5:30 today people can uh, follow uh, you know watch it online right at the end yeah. Yeah, you can go on the on the NCAA website or or if you go on Rowan's website and click on the schedule, just go down to the bottom and you can click the watch option under the uh, the Wheaton game. Yep. And real quick, of course, uh, again, we hope it's not till till late next week, but, you know, a little bit about uh, your excitement. And once this is over and hopefully we bring home some hardware. Yes. Um, you know, you're ready for for some uh, ACBL ball this summer. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it. You know, and, you know, you and I have talked and there's a couple guys on the team that that I coached, you know, in, in summer ball and AAU when they were in high school. So to reconnect with those guys and I was, I've, I've reached out and had conversations with them already. So I'm fired up to get there and, and get going and, and go and compete this summer, too. Absolutely. But we're not letting you back without some uh, some hardware, hopefully. Yeah, that, that's the goal. You know, hopefully we're here till, uh, till next Tuesday night and, and win a national championship and then uh, fly back home with a nice trophy in the, right. in the front seat, you know, on that plane. Absolutely. Appreciate it, Coach. Appreciate the time and uh, Thanks, best Mike. of luck today. I appreciate it. Thanks.